What's going on everybody, you got Tone here, back with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle, this time bringing you guys BBR D-League Season 1, Week Number 4, taking on It's Whatever, the coach of the Sacramento Neo Kings. his links and stuff will be in the description down below, be sure to check him out with all the other coaches, as well as all the other coaches taking part as well for the BBR D-League. Um, if you guys missed my team motor, uh, there will be a playlist or at the very least a poke pace for the ones that don't want to go through all the trouble of actually me explaining my thought process and everything. But um, yeah, this is a pretty uh, interesting team that I threw together. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> I'm not really all that uh, confident in it. But for the most part, it is still going to be some... Um, uh, a fun one to be sure. Um, we're both kind of struggling at the moment. I'm currently one and two, uh, and it's whatever is currently zero and three. Yeah, he's zero and three. Uh, so let's see what he ended up bringing. Um, yeah, pretty much everything I expected. He did not bring no Galay. He brought both Dark types. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I was expecting him to bring at the very least Greninja. Just because if he didn't bring Gren, he doesn't really have anything fast aside from dumb priority. But yeah, I was expecting Greninja over the Wo Chen. But uh, maybe my uh, Dragapult set can still work. It just depends on whether or not his um, Greninja is Scarf or not. So as for the lead, um, I still think I could still lead off with Meow Scarada. And if he leads off with Greninja, I just go directly into Cryogonal. Um, I think I'm okay with that. So yeah, let's just lock these in. Uh, man, he did not bring Galay, which I'm actually happy about. But yeah, second week in a row where I'm, I have to deal with Terra Dragonite plus an Azumarill. I'm not really happy about that. But regardless, good luck, have fun to uh, It's Whatever, and hopefully we have a nice clean match. So uh, yeah, uh, I still think I could potentially win with uh, my Dragapult in the back, but it also depends on whether or not his, um, there's a few factors it comes down to. He does lead over Greninja. Um, so in terms of what I want to do here, I did say that if he let off with Greninja, I was going to go directly out into my Cryogonal, so, because Cryogonal is meant to deal with this Pokemon, so I'm just going to switch that in. Um, I am, because Meowskarot is faster than Greninja naturally, but if he is Scarf, if he's Scarf Gren, he is going to, um, uh, click U-turn. That's, not the, that's, what, that's at least my thought process. So yeah, this is the one reason why I was debating leading off with Cryo instead of leading off with um with my Meowskarada. And I don't want to risk him U-turning and killing me. So do we see the U-turn? No, we see Spikes instead. Hmm. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that because... <laughs> I mean, at the very least, I get to rapid spin them away right now, actually. So yeah, let's just go for the rapid spin. U-turns out. He doesn't have a ghost resist. I mean, he doesn't have a ghost type, so I, this rapid spin is free. Um, Bronzong should be the Mon that comes out right now. Yep. So Bronzong is out. So yeah. Good All right. So the fact that he went for he switched the moves that means he's not choice. That's good. To, that's good information that he's not choice scarf um Gren. Um, so from here, against Bronzong, what do I want to go into right now? Um, I don't want to go hard into my, uh, I don't want to go hard me out in case he clicks Body Press. Hmm. I guess the safest play for me, for the most part, safest, would just be go to Oracorio and just start chipping this thing down. Um, Oracorio was designed to be here to check the, uh, Dragonite. Because if it dragon dances and I bring it in, I also drag. I also dance too. But the problem is, yeah, you just want to get this wrong too. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so this thing could potentially have ice spinner. Hmm. He could be ice spinner. He could have uh, what's it called? The main thing I was concerned about the most with this thing was it being trick room. But would he be stealth rock trick room? Ice Spinner, and I don't know what the fourth one would be, but... Hmm. I Revelation Dance for chip damage. I don't need the Quiver right away. Because his Electric Resist is Tusk. Yeah, so I'm just going to get the chip off. This should be Spadef, I believe. Yeah, that's Spadef. You guys want to review Future Sight. 
I'm okay with that. So Stealth Rock, Future Sight. I just keep Revelation dancing. Like, I'm, I'm okay with this exchange, though. And I feel a little bit more comfortable, um, confident now that I see that Greninja is not choice. Um, um, it's not choice scarf. That's what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, once he switch into Revelation Dance, his Electro Resist is weak to Hurricane. Yeah. And him giving me damage on my, um, him giving me chip on Bronzong helps on my Espathra. So he uses from the Gyro Ball. Doesn't do really much. And I just keep Revelation Dancing. <laughs> I don't see- we didn't see leftovers either, so this would potentially be Covert Cloak. Yeah, I think it's Covert Cloak for Lumina Crash, uh, Espothra. <laughs> like, every other Steel type. Well, not almost it. I think- I think there was one instance? I think- yeah, I think it was Klefki. Yeah, like, I- I'm okay with this, cause he's given me his- he's given me his Psychic immunity. Like, like, I guarantee Roost on the following turn. See? I know I lived. <laughs> easy, easy. So, I roost up here. He's either going to switch out... He's either going to go hard Greninja, expecting me to roost, or he's going to, um... He's going to click Future Sight again. But if he Future Sights again, um, I will click Revelation Dance twice. A uh, Revelation Dance, and then let my, um... Let my... Did he go hard Gren? Whoa, Chen, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we roost up here. Get back up to full. Well, not full, but... Um, what does this thing want to do? I guess knock off? Uh, I could quiver once, I guess. Cause what's this thing gonna do to me? I think the I think the worst case scenario he clicks knockoff. So I'll quiver once and then I'll roost again. Then it all just comes down to hitting a hurricane. So knockoff. Now he leaves seeds. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, and I should I should not die to future sight now. Um. But he should protect here. He's either going to protect or knock off. He's going to hard swap out to go back in the Bronzong. Yep, hard back in the Bronzong. I'm okay with that. So we roost up again. So now Future Sight should be coming out here. Like, you get health back, yes, but the problem is... I still get my chip. <laughs> yeah, you just like all you want. <laughs> um. So yeah, him giving me his um psychic res well, his him giving me Bronzong so um dog on early is is great for me. Especially considering his electric resist is uh, Tusk, so yeah. Oracorio picking up its first kill in its first match of the game, great. So, um, Oracorio, KO's Bronzong, uh, with Revelation Dance, that's great. Um, and the thing is, <laughs> he can't even go D-Knight here. Um, so yeah, so there goes the, uh, bronze on here, so that's, uh, very, very nice. Um, he goes back into Greninja now. Uh, is this Focus Sash? I'm not entirely sure, but I am on a Revelation Dance. He's not Scarf. Uh, he is Focus Sash, okay. So this should be Ice Beam or Gunk Shot. And he missed. Oh my lord. <coughs> my lord. That is insane that he missed that. Oh my god. I think he's okay though. Unless he doesn't have water shuriken. Unless he doesn't have water shuriken. That sucks so badly for him. 
Cause he could have got he could have gotten rid of this so easily. All right, so I get enough to work for it gets its, its second kill in the match, and I am getting called right now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so Oracorio picks up its second kill of the match. Oracorio KOs Greninja. In comes the Drago Knight. Um, hmm. And what do I want to do here? He is just going to Terror and Extreme Speed me. Hmm, but what's my other play though? Do I save this? That's the problem. I want to. I really, really do. Uh, but he sh I just feel like he's going to e-speed me. I, I have to just, um... Oh, he, he didn't, um... Okay. I mean... If I had known he was going to do that, he was going to, um... I mean, it just doesn't really matter because he's just going to tear the turn afterwards. And it makes no sense for him to, um... Okay, he's left over, so he's not boots. Alright. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to let Oracle go down here. Cause he should just e-speed me. Or Terra Normal and e-speed. Or Terra Flying and e-speed regardless. Okay, he's yeah, Terra Normals. Alright, so... Or Akora's gonna go down here, which I'm okay with. Or... not. Okay, I see the problem. Oh, uh, this is actually not good. <laughs> this is actually not good. <laughs> There's no way he's Terra Normal without E Speed, so. Um, Oracorio drops here. Oh, this is really, really bad all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to get reverse swept by Dragonite. Yeah, I think I want to get reverse swept by Dragonite. <laughs> There's no way he's Terra Normal without Extreme Speed. I fa I refuse to believe he's Terra Normal without E Speed. I probably should have Hurricane in that case, but yeah, I think I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna get Dragonite swept here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Alright, where Corio goes down, and yeah, this is, uh, this is the part where, uh, D-Knight just sweeps my team now. <laughs> um, hmm. Uh, what was my countermeasure to this? Like, in all honesty, my countermeasure to this was what? Hmm, 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 hmm. Because I'm pretty positive if he's D Claw. Nah, yeah, I don't think it matters. I, th I think I lose regardless. Like, no matter what, I lose to this. <sighs> yep. Yeah, that's my fault. I 100% am going to get 6 0 by this thing. Well, reverse swept by this thing. Um, there's nothing I could have done about it, to be honest. Considering what I brought, and he got two DDs, I'm expecting him to be, like, 
um, what you call it? Um, I probably should have saved the Oracorio, to be honest, but yeah. I'm just gonna have like Dragon Claw or Earthquake, whatever. Like, either way, I should <laughs> die. Or. Hey! I got the reflective, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm okay with that now. We're good now. Okay, we're back in this. <laughs> he wasn't, um, he wasn't Declaw. Uh, I do throw away my, my Dragapult, though, but this I am okay with. This I am okay with. The rest of my team gets E-Speed, but the, I am more confident enough with the fact that I, at the very least I got the Reflect up. Um, I can also go into Meowskarada afterwards and click Flower Trick. And there's still potential to win with my Espathra in the back. Yeah, so Dragon Ball's gonna go down here. I'm okay with that. Um, so... Dragonite, KOs, Dragapult. Um, he is getting back leftovers recovery, which is a problem. So let's go into Meowskarada. I'm still okay against Azu because I have this um, this stupid Gastrodon set of mine. So through Reflect, E Speed shouldn't kill me. And hopefully the combination of Miracle Seed plus Overgrow plus Flower Trick should knock it out. Uh, he could also DD again. If he's if he's feeling it. Fire punches. Okay. Damn, he really had fire punches. Okay. Dragonite, Chaos, Yaskarada. So DD Iron Head Fire Punch Extreme Speed. Oh, so he can't touch uh Dragon uh, Dragon Ball. He can't touch Gastro. Hmm. I probably should have went to a spot for it then, if I had known. Hmm. No, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters now. Yeah, I was hoping he wouldn't have Fire Punch. Yeah, I let him get back too much, um... I let him get back too much health there. Because this Luminar Crash doesn't kill, and two E-Speeds kill me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think. Um... I, I don't tear up. In case he goes for Iron Head, I don't want him to um to Iron Head um my Terra Fairy Mon. I mean he can also just go for the flinch anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna get swept by this thing. Yeah, I really didn't have anything going for for the Dragonite once it got going. Yeah. Yep, that's the game. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it, me getting flinched makes up for him missing gunshot, I guess. So yeah, this is going to be a 4 -a loss. Uh, what could I have done? What could I have done differently? I probably could have went on to Gastron, I guess. Yeah, I probably should have went Gastro instead of going into all of this. And my Reflect wore off, so yeah, this is definitely over. Uh, I'm not even mad about this. I'm not even mad about this. Considering what happened at the beginning of the match, um, with him missing Dunk Shot on my Oracorio, um, I can't say that... Dragonite, Chaos, Spathra, E Speed, he's plus two, that should kill me. Oh, I live one <laughs> I live one three.
But yeah, this game is over. This game is definitely over. I should have done this from the get-go. Oh, I... Yeah, I even forgot to endure. But it didn't matter. It really didn't matter. So down goes Gastrodon, and down goes Cryogonal. So yeah, that is going to be Dragonite sweeping me with... That's Dragonite doing Dragonite things. I really didn't really have a response to that. Um, yeah. What could I have done? The beginning was fine. Everything else, not so much. So yeah, he just clicks his iron head and that's going to be the game. Or ice train speed, doesn't really matter. Yep, so that's going to be a 4-0 loss, guys. Um, <laughs> not really the way I wanted to show off the team, but what can you do? What could I have done? Um, letting Dragonite set up was probably the worst thing I could have done in the world. Like... Uh, I mean, what was what was my countermeasure to that? To be perfectly honest, um, uh, like I'm frustrated, but not like I'm not like like down bad frustrated. Um, yeah, it's really hard to say what I could have brought differently for that Dragonite though. Like getting swept by getting swept in general is never easy to take, but uh man, I don't think it would have. I don't think it really would have mattered. Yeah, because he had, he had coverage for essentially everything. I probably I probably could have went on to Gashadon and did what I did at the end there, but um, yeah, I really don't know what I could have done differently. I probably could have preserved um, like I got the reflect off, yes, but. Uh, it's, it's so frustrating. Him having Fire Punch too was also really, really bad. Unfortunately, um, it is what it is, though. So we are going to fall to one and three minus six after this. Um, not really what I was hoping to go through um, in this matchup, but it's fine. I'm totally okay with this. Um, uh, Gigi, my opponent, he definitely, he definitely had the um, the dragon. Once, it, once the dragon I got going, there was nothing I could have really done there, to be perfectly honest. And unfortunately, that is what it is. Um, again, I can't complain. Um, he did what he needed to do to get back into the game, and it worked out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out my opponent in the description. Check out all the other opponents, uh, the other coaches in the uh, BBRD league. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be from me. Hope you guys enjoyed, regardless. And until the next time, this is Tone signing off for now. Peace out.